What's up, YouTube? It's Barry Fisherman, and today I want to talk about how it's getting harder to get into IT. Um, just recently, this past year, I've been helping a couple people get into GovTech and persuading them to take the Security Plus, right? And what I've been seeing is on the Security Plus, they have been adding stuff since the last time I've taken it. I took the Security Plus in 2020. And a couple of changes that are kind of, I want to say drastic, but you need to take note of is that on Security Plus now, they're requiring you to know more about Linux, even for the CASP, which is the next level after Security Plus, there's actually Linux questions on that exam. And when I heard that, I was like, okay, well, now it's starting, the bar is, start, it, the bar is starting to raise now. So you're going to need a little bit more than four years in the past, which is which is normal because you got to think technology is always changing and advancing. So now you're going to need to know cloud. A lot of organizations are using cloud. Home Depot, uh, not Home Depot, uh, U-Haul. If you rent a truck from U-Haul, that receipt is um, stored on AWS. So, you know, that allows for them to basically use unlimited cloud space and it's kind of smart too when you think about it because they don't have to do so much they had a they don't have to manage their own servers anyway back to the topic um yeah it's getting harder so what you need to take note of what you need to take note of is that you're going to have to do a little bit more than people that are already in the field already so, you know, what they did before, you're gonna to have to do a little bit extra. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's just knowing um, what you need to do um, and having a full proof plan so that you can have the right expectations and also put in the right effort to uh, getting your first help desk position. So also, Cloud is becoming uh, more important, I would say. I'm um, seeing a lot more positions for cloud, um, which also allows for more remote work. So you're going to see some cloud security specialists, cloud engineers, cloud admins. Um, I've even got some positions across my desk for Azure Stack HCI, hyperconverged infrastructure. Um, Dell has their own hardware servers that they use and to, to migrate um, on-prem to Azure. So it's just basically built just for Azure. Um, but even with that job, that job pays around like probably 160 to 220K. But it's fully on site though but even so that just goes to show you like there's there's things going on that you need to probably pay attention to and if you're in a situation where you're like okay i need to learn something so i can get to the next level i mean that might be one of the things you want to learn um so that's kind of all i want to say Barry fisherman i'm out